Sorry to start with um, not much context in the middle of a battle, but these lizards have been on the horizon for ages, so it's about time I gave them what they deserve. And who better to deal out the punishment than the leader of the Legion of Asgore himself, Drazoth the Ashen. Now is the perfect time to show those who'd scorn him what his dark brilliance is capable of. We'll hit them with what I've been calling the Drazoth 101. Artillery, firing lines, sorcery, skullcracker, and of course, the great beast Cinderbreath. Okay, now that they've been dealt with, let me tell you what Drazov and his angry, angry legion have been up to. So, due to the Ashen himself being exiled to the Black Fortress so long ago, our starting position isn't exactly an easy one, as the Black Fortress is stationed right in the corner. We're at turn 25 right now, and we've made some strides. We've got some luck starting with a four slot province. Noblar country has been transformed into a strong, efficient output for raw materials and armaments. And we've got the great drill built and ready. Those freaky vampires over in the caravan of blue roses over in the corner have been ousted from the haunted forest, giving us room for yet another tower on the horizon. Karak Krakaton on the Ivory Road has also been taken from some enterprising Skaven. We've got a guy holding it for the meantime, and we'll either push further in for more materials and labour from some big ogre boys, or make some peace with the lads for a nice, profitable relationship. We've also been doing a few sacking runs to gain labour near Imrik, and I think he's getting to the end of his tether with us. Know this! I will not remember you once I have slain you. And lastly, we've had the lizards, idling away on their little island in the far corner. They finally decided to pop their little heads up in our part of the world, saw our beautiful chaotic selves, decided that we didn't fit the great plan, and they were having none of it. And, uh, well, we saw how that went for them. Being in our little corner doesn't mean we haven't gone out to see the world, though. We deployed a convoy to go fetch us some labour. It did cost us a pretty penny in armaments, but with the incoming labour we can hit the ground running with our thriving, happy workforce, and instantaneously build ourselves a brand new industrial powerhouse. And I know just the place to manifest it. Gorda's Backstabber, a legendary hero and a hobgoblin of renown who's more than proven himself useful to our cause, has been sent on a little excursion to the Plain of Bones. Another four-stack province I think we can make some real use out of. We need all the raw materials and armaments we can get as we gear up to take on the Karazakarak expedition. Their army will be a great sacrifice to Hashut, as well as a clear and open message to the rest of the Tower of Tsar that Drazov is back and means business. What better way to send a message to the other Chaos Dwarfs than completely crushing our non-chaotic counterpart? To get that, we're going to need armaments to up our capacity and capabilities in the Hellforge. So, welcome to the Hellforge, your one-stop shop for all things terrifying and most likely Geneva Convention breaking. Luckily though, Geneva's not here. As you can see, we've upgraded capacity for certain units, namely Chaos Dwarf Warriors and their Blunderbuss Brethren. We'll want to bolster this number out a bit more as we progress, as well as bring in some infernal units and war machines. It's not all about numbers though. As we increase how many units we can recruit, we can also unlock additional upgrades for our units. These can be quite costly, and they'll add on to our armaments expenditure per unit per turn, but it'll increase their effectiveness in the field. Okay, that's a lot of talking and a lot of war planning. We need the space for these grand machinations, and we're starting to outgrow Noblar country. We've got a lot of labourers here, and they need new assignments. The Iron Fist of the Legion and the Fiery Anger of Drazov and Cinderbreath are pointed firmly at you, Imric. Pigbarter's garrison is seriously lacking, almost as if Imric did the classic High Elf thing of looking down his nose at us for too long. It's a common misstep. Nothing that a happy hobgoblin and an infernal engine can't fix. Chaos Dwarf Warriors aren't the quickest, but Gordas and his hobgoblins are perfectly capable of holding their ground until they arrive. 
Once they're in, the Knights of Kaladol will get acquainted with the tidal wave of iron and hatred that is the Dawizar. Well, we've certainly forced Imric's hand now. This, however, isn't our only front. For starters, we do have some issues to deal with in Noblar country. As we're going on the offensive, we're going to be gaining more labour, which can actually have its issues. Control back in our home province is dropping quite heavily due to the labour populace. I imagine they're all talking, you know? Talking about such frivolous prospects like bathroom breaks and lunch hours. I bet they're even considering the concept of paid overtime. We can settle their little ideologies by utilising labour to rush production, but I'm going to keep matters in line for a few turns by setting an example. A missing guardrail here, a wrong type of ladder handed off there, this should hopefully keep matters in line. Our other front is the caravan. If we're unlucky, there might be many hardships on the road that we'll encounter. Chaos Dwarf hardware, after all, is nothing to scoff at. And to say that we're proficient in making enemies is, uh, well, it's quite the understatement. If they fail, it's going to make creating a new industrial zone a lot more difficult. But moving on Pig Barter has opened our eyes to a potential contingency. Darkhold is part of this province, and it happens to just be a ruin. I don't buy that for a second, though. Where there's ruins, there's rats. And where there's rats, there's a possibility that big, men-sized rats that don't know oh, what am I doing. We're not the Empire, we're the Darwis are. It's Skaven. There's Skaven in them their hills. And if I have to diversify my upcoming workforce, you bet I will. Oh, look who it is! Stinking rat. We'll be hitting the rats with the same tactic we had in Pig Barter. We'll pepper them with artillery as well as magic from Drazov, utilizing Cinderbreath's flying speed. At that point, it's all iron, gunpowder, coal, and hate. Choo choo! Oh, come on, you know I needed to make at least one of those. Okay, so my anger might have gotten the better of me, and by doing this, we may have made things a bit more difficult for us here by angering the Skaven, which leaves us with a dilemma. On one hand, we're already taking land from the Knights of Kalador, and it'd be proficient for us to keep our labour in this region alone. However, on the other hand, Clan Rictus might be a little sneaky, and could potentially try to sneak up on Noblar County while our primary legion is destroying Imric's boys. We need to recoup our losses and muster some new units. So for the meantime, we'll hang in Darkhold and see what happens. Ha, ah, so we've hit our first dilemma with a convoy here. If we spend cargo, we'll get less labor coming in. But on the other hand, I'm not really up for saying no to a dragon. Speaking of dragons, the dragon nerd Imric himself has left the fortress of Vorag. I guess I'm not the only one with a potential Skaven issue, but it'd be foolish not to pounce on the opportunity. So let's move on in and make ourselves welcome, shall we? Time is of the essence, so we've no time for siege weapons. We're utilizing ladders, the skullcracker for the gate, and Drazov brutalizing the gate garrison. Once we're in, let's let the Skullcracker let loose. With our guns on the wall, we run the penitentiary now. With the Knights of Kalador overcome in their fortress by iron and magic, it was only a matter of time before they crumbled before the Legion of Asgore. All is chaos. The fortress of Vorag is ours, and a tower is raised in Hashut's glory, and we earned ourselves a new gift in the process, the Kadai Fireborn. 
demonic fire elementals bound by Chaos Dwarf sorcery and adorned in Darwizar armaments. Their ferocity makes them exceptional flank troops and precisely what I want in my army. We do, however, have more trouble on our hands. First off, we have this hero unit hanging around outside and she's ruining the vibe to be honest. Gordas, deal with her. Gordas, way to go mate. Truly living up to that surname. Yeah. Our convoy is under attack and a strategic question for the ages has been posed to us. Do I slaughter or do I massacre? Never before has a question been asked to a general that is so intense. I'll think on it as I crush these Darwin into dust. And I'll let the result determine which we did, whilst Drazov marches on Imric at Anarel's tomb. I think I'll deem this one a slaughter. I love dragons. Maybe Imric had the right idea. So all that's left in our grand plan is taking Adarel's tomb. I like what you did with the province, Imric, but I think we can do better. No hard feelings, mate. It's just business. Imric has brought the numbers, and while we're not lacking ourselves, we're going to have to use our units to our advantage. Our firing lines have the capacity to drop whatever he throws at us at the speed of however quickly they can reload. He's also trying to send some archers around the side, but we can counteract that with the speed of the fireball. The Kadai aren't the only people bringing the fire though. Give him a taste, send a breath. Our Skullcracker is already getting started by tending to the fields. A bit preemptive, we've only won now, but hey, we need a nice place for Cinderbreath to relax in. Look at him frolic. So, with Imric off the board and these lands firmly under our control, we can get to further bolstering our infernal machine and prepare to take on those pesky Darwi. This is a definite victory for us, despite our losses. We'll need to regroup for a bit, gather our strength, and bolster up our army. Once we're at full strength, we march on the expedition, and we're gonna bring a new friend with us. Wait, hold on, what's that? Oh, so that's where you went, Tretch. What fitting behavior for a rat. We've established a bit of a foothold here and I want my province back under my full control. Trechi has made this personal, so I'm going to expend some of my labor to build a Dreadquake Mortar, primarily to hurt him. While I'm also preparing, as it will take us a few turns to reach Darkhold, I've also got some Conclave influence and floor two has opened up in the Tower of Tsar. I still need a bit more influence for some of the unlocks here and wait, hold on. Someone's taken one of my seats. Zatan! Oh, come on, man. I thought we were pals in like a Cold War and not really pals kind of way. You're lucky you're the focus of the next episode or I swear on her shit. Anyways, um, anger aside, we need to strategize. I'm going to add modifications in the Hellforge for our units to spice them up. As we're still lacking a bit in numbers, and we need every advantage we can get. We're also bringing in two regiments of renown. The Blazing Beards, Chaos Dwarf Warriors with beards that fill me personally with fear, and her shit's favorite engine, the Demon's Tongue. You brought this on yourself, Tretch. I'm gonna scorch your earth and break whatever affront of vehicle technology this thing is. Ugh, so primitive. I'm cursing that doom wheel with the curse of her shirt, just as Tretch's reinforcements arrive. Right, so what does this button do? Oh. <laughs> that's a really that's a really fun button. 
Well, we've successfully discarded any bravery those reinforcements of Treacher's had, which leaves us with a nice little massacre to have here. I'd say thank you for the warm-up, but I think we're hot enough. Oh, so this one's a massacre. Ah, there we go. Retreat! Surrender! Whew. Well, that was commendable, if dishonorable, Tretch. Have fun in the mines, rat. So, with Tretch's forces blown to kingdom come, we've eked out a victory here, but the expedition is still on the horizon. I need to take more time to recuperate and rebuild my forces but I've got some spicy projects going on at the Black Fortress. It's going to be an interesting time for the Karazakarak expedition by the time I get around to them. So, here we are. We've rebuilt up our forces, bolstering here and there. We've got some nasty new tricks up our sleeve with a new tower seat, and we're throwing everything we can at this. We need them dead if we're going to show the Tower of Tsar how badly Astrogoth messed up for exiling us all our years ago. We also managed to summon a new friend into the fray for the battle too. Karazakarak Expedition, say hello to the Kadai Destroyer. Luckily, we've got a meat shield line of labourers here too, which is convenient considering we took our time looking cool arriving in slow-mo. No apologies, they understand. Let's sacrifice some Darwi, shall we? For her shit. We'll send the Gadai Destroyer in first to deal with their frontline units, to replace the grudges in their hearts with fear. Oh, some lads are trying to pull a sneaky flank. I don't think the gyrocopters were ready for cinder breath though. While the Kadai are out here having the best time one can have while bound to Darwi's art technology, we'll use our new tower seat to spawn in even more Fireborn to flank these would-be flankers. How unfortunate. Admittedly, the only people here I feel sorry for, though, are the laborers. The destroyer is quite excitable, but it's okay, we'll get more. And we can get more laborers, right? <laughs> 